Three men who completely lost the use of their hands as a result of devastating nerve damage have been given bionic hands that they can control with their mind. The experiments reported in the journal Lancet are part of a broader quest to harness bionic technology and help people who have lost the use of their limbs. The patients in the study suffered injuries to nerves that control movement and sensation in the shoulder, arm, forearm and hand. Yes, it's a one-sided injury, so um, it has to be clear, they have a good hand that's remaining, but the side that is damaged is severely damaged and they're unable to move that hand at all. So how did doctors fix the problem? They first transferred nerves and muscles into the patient's forearm. The patients then went through cognitive training and thus learned to use the augmented nerve signals to control a virtual hand. Eventually, the non-functioning hand was amputated and a bionic hand was attached in its place. In terms of day-to-day -day tasks, they can do what you or I can do to some degree. Now, bear in mind that they have their, one of their hands is intact, and so that will always become their dominant hand. So if, they were, if their right hand was dominant beforehand, their now dominance will move to the left hand. And the remaining hand will always be a helping hand, but they can do things such as holding a cup, uh, tying their shoelaces, or even holding their child's hand, something that they were unable to do.